friends! Happy Friday! Today I have a nice fun spring book for us. Um, so as we start thinking about our seeds and our plants starting to grow, we're going to read today about the bad seed. Um, so this story is about something that is really scary that happens to one of the seeds and we're going to read and find out how that makes him feel and then how he feels better at the end of the story. So here we go. This book is called The Bad Seed, and it's written by Jory John, and the pictures and drawings are really cool, so big thanks to our illustrator, Pete Oswald. All right, here we go. Here's all the different seeds we're going to get to read about today. Remember, seeds are the tiny parts of plants that start um, growing in the ground. Here we go. I'm a bad seed, a bad seed. Oh yeah, it's true. The other seeds, they look at me and they say, that seed is so bad. When they think that I'm not listening, they mumble, there goes a bad seed. Poor seed. But I can hear them. I have good hearing for a seed. How bad am I? You really want to know? Well, I never put things back where they belong. I'm late to everything. I tell long jokes with no punchlines. I never wash my hands or my feet. I lie about pointless stuff. Cut in line every time. Uh-oh, what is this seed doing? I stare at everybody. I glare at everybody. I finish everybody's sentences and I never listen. I do lots of other bad things too. Know why? Because I'm a bad seed. A bad seed. I just can't help it. Sure, I wasn't always this bad. I was born in a humble seed on a simple sunflower in an unremarkable field. I had a big family, seeds everywhere. We found lots of ways of having fun. We were very close. See all the ways they play with each other? But then the petals dropped and our flower drooped. It's kind of a blur. I remember a bag that says fresh sunflower seeds, delicious. Uh-oh. Everything went dark. And then a giant. Looks like they're at a baseball field. And he's eating the sunflower seed bag. I thought I was a goner. I thought I was done for. I screamed and I hollered, ah! But I was spit out at the last possible second. I flew through the air and I landed under the bleachers with a huge thud. When I woke up, it was dark outside. A wad of gum had softened my fall felt okay, but something had changed in me. I'd become a different seed entirely. I'd become a bad seed. A bad seed. That's right. I stopped smiling. I kept to myself. I drifted. I was a friend to nobody and bad to everybody. I was lost on purpose. I lived inside of a soda can. I didn't care, and it suited me. Uh-oh, how do you think this seed is feeling? He's all the way away from his family. He's cold and dark and alone. Until recently, I've made a big decision. I've decided I don't want to be a bad seed anymore. I'm ready to be happy. 
It's hard to be good when you're so used to being bad, but I'm trying. I'm taking it one day at a time. Sure, I still forget to listen, and I still show up late, and I still talk during the movies, and I do all kinds of other bad stuff. But I also say thank you, and I say please, and I smile, and I hold the doors open for people. Not always, but sometimes. And even though I still feel bad sometimes, I also feel kind of good. It's sort of a mix. All I can do is keep trying and keep thinking. Maybe I'm not such a bad seed after all. Hey, look, there goes that bad seed. Actually, he is not all that bad anymore. I heard that. The end. So when R.C. got lost from his family, he started feeling really sad and really lonely. But then he kept trying. And he tried to do good things and he tried to be safe and kind and happy. So all he's going to do is keep trying. Campsters, I hope you had fun with our book, The Bad Seed, today. Check out the link to find some more resources on what you can start planting. I'm going to be starting a little garden of some lima beans. There's a really cool trick. You can just get a green lima bean, you wrap it in a wet paper towel, put it into a plastic bag, and you can tape it up on your window and watch it grow. We'll check in and see how much it grows in the next few weeks. Love you. Have a great day. Bye.